and welcome to our first full moon meditation of 2021. My goodness, I cannot believe it's the end of February and uh, it's so wonderful to be here with all of you for the first full moon of 2021. So welcome, welcome as you all start to come online. Excited to see all of you. Uh, I'd love to uh, be able to say hello. So hi, Cynthia. Please say um, hi in the comments. Let me know where you're joining us from. Hi, Miriam from Dubai. How wonderful to have you. Uh, I love knowing where everyone is joining in from because we have literally have uh, a worldwide circle here. And it's so beautiful to gather under the full moon all over the earth. And um, since today's the worldwide womb blessing, I love especially to know uh, where you're all joining me from. So please let me know in the comments. Hi, Abby from Salt St. Marie. Hi, Brianne in Toronto, fellow Torontonian. <laughs> I'm in Canada too. This morning it rained a lot in Toronto and melted a lot of the snow. So it's um, it was beautiful and sunny yesterday, but today is cloudy and overcast, which I hope changes. <laughs> All right. So hello, Laura from England. Delara from Morocco. Wow. Awesome. Hi, Lorianne, who's in Long Island. And Susanna in Slovenia, how beautiful. Welcome. Jessica in Connecticut, Ellie in Montreal, welcome, welcome. It's so lovely um, to have all of you joining us, joining me and joining the rest of our global sisterhood. Um, a lot of you will be joining to watch on the replay. So whether you're joining us live today for the full moon meditation or later on, um, I want you to know that you're all held in this beautiful energy, in this beautiful circle um, of feminine energy. And that's really the that's really the invitation of the worldwide womb blessing. Uh, so it's an energy that we're gonna be channeling today that Miranda Gray and a network of moon mothers, we have thousands of moon mothers all over the world who spend today channeling the worldwide womb blessing energy so we can all benefit on this path of female energy awakening. So I welcome all of you who are joining us here for the first time or as Martha in Barcelona, says hello and she becomes every month so it's lovely to see those who are uh, here also um, as regulars. Hi Melissa in Michigan, welcome and Tabitha, my um, assistant, so important to have Tabitha <laughs> from Virginia, welcome and Tabitha is actually doing the moon mother training this weekend. Uh, and although she's in Virginia, she's taking the German training, so has been up since 3 a.m. So thank you, Tabitha, for being here. I'm sure you're going to go to bed after this. Hi, Anuka in Finland. And Abby in UP. Is you, you mean UP in India, Uttar Pradesh? Cool. I hope that's what you mean, unless you mean upstate Pennsylvania, <laughs> which you probably do. Uh, Alicia, hello, welcome. And April from Montreal, welcome. All right, Alicia in Michigan, welcome. All right, so today um, I love, love, love the, the quote that we shared from Miranda Gray in the support circle. And if you haven't seen it, I encourage you to read it. We posted it, let me check. Um, Tabitha posted it on February 23rd at 9.45 a.m. And uh, Miranda does a beautiful job of explaining uh, how this year, so the womb blessing, the way it works is um, every year a different energetic archetype, a different female, feminine energy archetype leads the year. 
So last year, it was the maiden energy that led 2020. And this year, 2021, is led by the energy of the mother. Uh, Alicia, you can visit Miranda's website or post in the support circle if you want more interested in the if you want more information on the Moon Mother training and Tabitha can help you find a training. All right, so coming back to the 2021 energy of the mother, it's such a beautiful idea that we're being held by the archetypal energy. And let me close my email so it doesn't make that noise. Um, and so as we enter, well, we've actually entered the year of the mother energy archetype, it's very much about being held in love. And so part of the invitation for today is I would love for you to consider for yourself how how love is showing up for you in your own relationship with yourself and where love might be lacking in your relationship with yourself and where you could bring more love in. Um, I recently was on YouTube and I, I, I can't remember the woman's name that I follow, but she, she did a beautiful video about approaching ourselves with the vibration of love. And I don't know about you, but this pandemic has caused all my clothes to be too tight. <laughs> so I put this shirt on, which I haven't probably put on since summertime. And I swear it's hard to lift my arms because it's tight everywhere. It's tight around the chest. I usually don't feel tightness around the arms. So it's uncomfortable, right? To like feel all this extra layer um, on the body from the pandemic and the lack of movement that we've had. Um, so, you know, when I was watching this video, what this woman said is we want to literally hold our bodies and look in the mirror and say, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you and fill our whole beings with the vibration of love. And I just, it resonated so deeply because when we approach ourselves from this place of love, our body wants to work with us. Um, nature wants to work with us. The universe is designed to support us. And the more we push against the energy, the less we actually feel contained and held. And that's really what the mother energy is about, right? To feel that sense of being held in love and the energy and the vibration of love. So um, what I also love about what Miranda Gray says is that we walk, we can consider ourselves as being surrounded by the four archetypes. To our right is the maiden, to our left is the enchantress, in front of us is the mother, behind us is the wise woman crone. So we have this energetic container all around us of the four feminine energy archetypes. And I, I use this teaching in all of my work, especially in the fertility work, um, working with your menstrual cycle where these four energy, female energy archetypes manifest through pre-ovulation, ovulation, pre-menstruation, pre and menstruation. So it's really a beautiful thing when we can work alongside and in harmony with these feminine energies that we already embody and that walk with us through the seasons, through the moon phases, and most importantly, through our own menstrual cycles. So I hope that if you're called to learn more about this information, do some investigation, read the posts on our blog, um, look at the Moon Goddess Fertility Yoga Program, 
Uh, we're starting a teacher training on Monday. Many of you are in the 300 hour advanced yoga teacher training with Yoga Farm where I'm teaching. So there's so many opportunities for you to learn and work with these energies in relationship with your womb, in relationship with your hormones. So coming back to today and getting ready to um, start our meditation and be become receptive to receive the worldwide womb blessings. So if you haven't already, um, we want to have a candle in one of our bowls. So we need two bowls, one for a candle, tea light, one for water. So uh, hi, Carissa from Switzerland. Lovely to see you. So you want to have your womb bowls ready, one with water, one with um, a tea light. If you have a shawl, it's nice to wrap yourself with the shawl. And this is to honor the presence of the divine feminine. So you can wrap yourself with a shawl in preparation for meditation. And today we're doing a special meditation for womb renewal. So I'll be guiding us through a series of meditations. If you haven't been here with us before on a worldwide womb blessing, uh, you're in for several meditations. So we're going to start with the womb tree meditation, which we'll share afterwards in the support circle. For those of you who want to continue doing the womb tree meditation, I'll share a link with you where you can download uh, and do the meditation from home as an ongoing practice. So we're gonna start with the womb tree meditation to open the energies. Then we'll do the sharing meditation um, where we share the energy of the womb blessing with everyone in the circle and with the earth and send blessings to the earth. Then we'll do the earth yoni meditation. So honoring the sacred energy of the yoni, which is the Sanskrit word for vulva the opening of the vagina. And then finally, we'll finish with the, um, the meditation for womb renewal. So I'm just gonna switch the order so I have that. So if you can come into a comfortable position, you can be sitting up or lying down and just let's take a moment before we start our meditation. So just take a few centering breaths. And if you like, you can bring one hand to your chest, one hand to your belly. Start to feel the warmth of your hands on your body. Start to notice your breath moving in and out. Take a moment to visualize our circle of women gathered all over the world. All of us connected through this sacred thread of the divine feminine. Seated wherever we are in the world, we create a living web of energy, vibration. Imagine, see, sense that all of our hearts, all of our wounds connected in this web.
and let's make our presence known now in our circle. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, connecting with your heart, connecting with your womb. State your name out loud. Zara. And imagine all the women in our circle live and later on on the replay, all of our names vibrating as this circle is formed. Connecting and uniting with all the other circles that are forming right now at this moment, later today, earlier this morning, all of us gathered to honor the energy of the full snow moon, the Virgo full moon, and the initiation of the first worldwide womb blessing of 2021. Let's imagine the energy of the mother in front of us, the energy of the maiden to our right, the energy of the enchantress to our left, and the energy of the crone wise woman behind us. Feel yourself held. In love. And set your intention for today's blessing. What do you want to heal, shift, or create? Now take a deep breath in and begin, begin to bring your awareness to your body. Notice the weight of your body where you're seated or where you're lying down. And allow yourself to sink into the support. of wherever you are. With your next inhale, bring your awareness into your womb. Feel, know, see, or imagine that your womb is like a tree with two main branches that hold beautiful leaves and red jewel-like fruits on the ends. Feel or imagine that the roots of your tree grow down deep into the warmth, into the darkness of the earth. Connecting you and anchoring you 
allowing you to receive golden energy into your womb. Feel connected and balanced, grounded and balanced within. Now allow your, the image of your womb tree to grow until the tree's branches separate at the level of your heart. As you connect with this image, see or feel your heart center open and energy flow down your arms into your hands and fingers. Feel the connection of love between the earth, your womb, and your heart. Still in awareness of your heart, look up. See or feel the tree's branches reaching upwards to cradle a full moon above your head. The beauty of the full moon bathes you in a pure silver white light that washes through your aura and over your skin. Open to receive the light of the moon. Let it enter through your crown and fill your brain with light. Relax further and allow this energy into your heart. Relax even further. Open your womb. And allow this energy into your womb in blessing. You'll receive the energies now, allowing yourself to be bathed in the silver white light of the moon. Receiving this energy through your crown into your heart, pouring into your womb. We'll be quiet now for the next 11 minutes. Keep breathing and receiving. 
the worldwide womb blessing energy. All of the colors of the rainbow are contained within this light. If at any point the energy feels too spacey, reconnect with your womb tree roots and follow them down.
Once again, become aware of the moon above your head and allow its energy to bathe you with light. Feel the light fill your head, fill your heart, and flow out down your arms to your hands. Allow the energy to flow from heart to hands to the world. Feel it flow out into other lands, changing the vibration into one of the divine feminine. Feel it healing, loving, soothing and nurturing the whole world. Feel the presence of all the other women around the world who are connecting with this energy at this time. Send it to them and receive it from them. in love, sharing, and communion. Now allow the energy, <coughs> excuse me. Now allow the energy from the moon above to flow from head to heart to womb and down into your land. Let the energy awaken 
and heal the sacredness of the land and the goddess in the land. You are the sacred vessel that heals your land and the goddess in your land. From the moon, to your head, to your heart, to your womb, into the land. Take a deep breath in and bring your awareness back into your body. Blow your womb tree roots back down into the earth. Wiggle mm -hmm. your fingers and your toes. Smile and open your eyes. So we're going to <clears throat> move into the Earth Yoni Blessing. The Earth Yoni Blessing is a worldwide sharing of Divine Mother Energy in which participating women receive the Earth Yoni blessing to bring healing 
and to restore sacredness to their yonis, a sacred, a Sanskrit word for the vagina and the vulva. Okay. So we're going to use a mudra, which is a hand position for the earth yoni blessing, which is your hands together with the thumbs pressed between the fingers. And this is to symbolize the shape of the yoni, the vulva, the vagina. So that's the mudra that we're going to be using. You can rest your hands in your lap. And see if there's anything I want to say about the earth yoni blessing. So basically we want to reclaim the yoni as a beautiful symbol of the feminine. Um, and a source of spiritual, sensual, and sexual prayer and empowerment. So the yoni, through the yoni, we regain our connection to the Divine Mother to her sexuality, abundance, strength, creativity, and love. In this simple blessing, the Divine Mother returns to us to heal the alienation from the Divine Feminine and awaken her energy and presence in our lives. All right, so let's bring our hands into the yoni position, resting in your lap. Get into a comfortable position and close your eyes. Take a deep breath and bring your awareness to your womb, your yoni, and to the earth. Breathe deeply. See, know, feel, or imagine that you stand on a beautiful beach with the waves gently washing your feet. In front of you is a small sacred island covered in ancient trees. Winding upwards between the trees is a rough path beside a small stream. You hear the sounds of the stream as it flows in little waterfalls among the boulders. You follow the path upwards, aware of the earth beneath your bare feet. The gentle energies of the trees, the plants and animals around you. and a warm touch of sunlight. You relax as you climb and feel the sacred connection between your yoni, life, and the earth. The path 
path ends at the source of the stream, which is a small shrine nestled between two huge white boulders. You see the water emerging from the opening of the shrine of the Earth Mother. And you feel the presence of her love surrounding you. You enter the circular shrine and a single high window of stained glass fills the space with beautiful colors. You see plants, animals, and birds outlined in the glass. In the center of the space is a large white circular bowl with a long lip from which the waters of the bowl flow down to create a stream. You sit on a beautiful decorated cushion in front of the bowl. Feel your yoni open and energy awakening within it. Your heart, yoni, and womb all fill with the goddess's energy and deep love. Cup your hands and drink from the waters flowing from the bowl. 
as you drink, make a commitment in your heart to the Divine Mother that you will pass her blessing on to other women. Feel gratitude for the deep connection she has made with your heart, your yoni, and the earth. Bring your awareness back to your physical body. Feel the weight of your body. Take a deep breath and wiggle your fingers and your toes. Open your eyes and smile. Okay. Our last meditation we're going to do is the womb renewal meditation. So this is a, one of the most beautiful meditations I think that we do for the Worldwide Womb Blessing. Um, and we do this meditation at the beginning of, like as we're getting closer to springtime when the earth's maiden energies are beginning to awaken. We, this is also a good meditation to do at the first sight of the crescent moon. So as the moon increases in her maiden energies and when your menstruation finishes and you yourself are reborn in your maiden energies. So if you are in your pre-ovulatory phase right now, um, then this is a really beautiful meditation because you are in that maiden phase. So if your period just ended, then you're in the maiden phase. Um, but we're also in the energy of the maiden, approaching the maiden season. So this is the perfect uh, meditation for this time, for this worldwide moon blessing. Okay. So this the womb renewal really is an ushering in of new energy, right? So we do this meditation not because we need to cleanse the womb um, or detox or, you know, get rid of old dirty energy or anything like that, but it is in our nature to hold on to old limiting patterns, old feelings and old emotional memories that we no longer need and often restrict and limit us, and we hold them energetically in our womb space. So when we take this time, it's really a gift to let go of these things and enter into the new uh, cycle lighter and more radiant. So I feel like I'm already more radiant <laughs> from our meditation so far. So let's get ready to do the womb renewal meditation. Okay. So, let's see. All right. Here we go. So we're gonna, if you have your womb bowls, we need them in front of us for this meditation. In your brain line. Maybe what I'll do. Yeah, I'll keep them here. So if you don't have wool bowls, then we'll use we'll use mine as kind of a surrogate. And my candle seems to have gone out, so I'm gonna relight it. Okay. Okay, so close your eyes and take a deep breath in. Bring your awareness to your physical womb. 
or your womb energy center. See, know, or feel that deep within the waters of your womb lies a radiant moon. Be aware of the moon above. And allow her light to flow down through your crown, through your heart, and into your womb. Place the first two fingers of either hand over your womb area. See or feel the link between the moon above and the moon in your womb. Keep your fingers in position and bring your awareness to the moon above. Say this in your mind or out loud. I let go of all physical hurts and breathe in goodness and purity. I let go of all physical hurts and breathe in goodness and purity. I let go of all physical hurts and breathe in goodness and purity. Breathe in moonlight down into your womb. As you breathe out normally, notice the moon in your womb growing brighter in light and radiance. Once again, bring your awareness to the moon above Say in your mind or out loud, I let go of all emotional hurts and negative energy connections and breathe in love and beauty into my womb. I let go of all emotional hurts and negative energy connections and breathe in love and beauty into my womb. go of all emotional hurts and negative energy connections 
and breathe in love and beauty into my room. Breathe in moonlight to your womb and notice the radiance growing to fill the whole of your lower belly. Bring your awareness to the moon above. Say in your mind, or out loud. I let go of all guilt, pain, and breathe in love and joy into my womb. I let go of all guilt and mental pain, pain and breathe in love and joy into my womb. of all guilt and mental pain and breathe in love and joy into my womb. Breathe in moonlight to your womb and notice the radiance growing to fill the whole of your lower belly. Bring your awareness to the moon above. Say in your mind or out loud, I let go of what has been and the things I no longer need and breathe in purity, goodness, love, and peace into my womb and into the world. I let go of what has been and the things I no longer need and breathe in purity, goodness, love, and peace into my womb and into the world. I let go of what has been and the things I no longer need and breathe in purity, goodness, love, and peace into my womb and into the world.
When you are ready, allow the radiance of the moon in your womb to lessen until you just see a new and beautiful womb glowing gently with light. When you're ready, take a deep breath in. Grow your womb tree roots. Grow your womb tree roots deep into the earth. Take a deep breath. Open your eyes and smile. See the candle in your womb bowl as a symbol of light in your new womb. Touch the water in your other womb bowl and touch it to your lower belly. Now take the radiance of the Divine Feminine and your renewed womb out into the world. Let's drink our womb bowl water. Make sure you eat something. Uh, after this meditation, you want to definitely nourish yourself, drink lots of water. Christina says, thank you. I haven't cried this much in ages. Oh, Christina, thank you for sharing. Uh, if anyone else would like to share what the meditation was like for you, I always love to hear feedback such a beautiful experience to connect with the Divine Feminine and each of us are touched in a unique way, in a very personal way. Our relationship with the Divine Feminine is so personal and so how the meditations and the energy flow for you are very unique for each individual. Erin says, thank you, Zara. What a beautiful blessing. I can't believe this is my first time participating. Oh, Erin. Erin is my colleague from Rochester, New York, from Fertile Hope Yoga. I love to see you here, Erin. I'm so happy that you got to participate. April says, this was lovely. Thank you. Thank you, April. Kali says, nurturing peace and love. Beautiful. Thank you, Kali. So take your time to integrate, to reflect, to journal. Um, Ellie says, thank you so much for your wonderful guidance, beautiful visualizations. Connecting me. Oops, no, never felt my womb to be so sacred and special. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Ellie. And Sari says, thank you so much for connecting me to my womb and fertility in this profound way. I promise to pass along the goddess blessing. Beautiful. So I want to just circle back to what I said in the beginning about the mother archetype leading us this year and the love that is available to us through the archetype of the mother. And in our meditation, what, what I noticed for myself is, you know, coming back to what I was talking about, about loving ourselves and and feeling the vibration of love, especially if there's parts of ourselves or parts of our lives that we're not so in love with right now, to really hold what we want to shift, change, or heal in a vibration of love, rather than in a vibration of 
wrongness, badness, and wanting to make it stop, make it change, make it go away -ness. Um, So first holding ourselves and our bodies and whatever it is, could be a partner, could be a, a deep longing and desire, holding it with love, with a sense of just pouring, pouring the vibration of love in to whatever this is that we want to heal, shift, or, or uh, manifest. So I hope that, that thinking about the archetypes uh, surrounding us, mother in front, crone behind, enchantress to the left, maiden to the right, can help you navigate this year with a sense of being held and contained and guided by the mother. So Alicia says, thank you. I feel so much more like myself than I have in the last few weeks. So much love to you. So much love to you too, Alicia, and so much love to all of you. Thank you so much for being here, sharing the full moon energies with me and with all of us. We'll be back as usual next month for the March full moon. And um, I love you all, sending you deep, deep, deep blessings uh, for the initiation of the womb blessing and divine feminine awakening energy for 2021. Um, I hope that you are guided by love this year. And for those of you who want to deepen your experience of this work, I hope you'll join me uh, either for your own self-healing with Moon Goddess the fertility yoga program that I offer, or as a teacher in the advanced 300 hour yoga teacher training with Yoga Farm. So thank you so much, sending you lots of love and stay tuned. Oh, April, my surgery got delayed to June. That's why I could do this this month. So uh, no surgery. <laughs> and the other thing I wanted to mention is Hopefully soon you're going to be seeing a workbook from me. Right now it's only available for our teacher training students. It's called Living in Sync with Your Menstrual Moon Cycle. And it's very exciting and dear to my heart to be sharing how to cycle with yoga and the moon and charting your cycle. Uh, so stay tuned for more information sometime this year when I release it to the world. Sending you lots of love.